Welcome back everyone to Zanuck and we finally reached here. Our journey is about to come to an end, I feel. So let's uh let's go in to the dome. Journeyer of the long road, name yourself. I am the summoner Yuna. I have come from the island of Besaid. Your eyes, my dear. Show me the long road you have traveled. Very good. You have journeyed well. Thanks. Lady Unaleska will surely welcome your arrival. Go to her now and bring your guardians with you. Go. Hmm. And he just vanishes because he's obviously a ghost. Right, the music kicks in. Let's do this. Let's go speak to Unaleska. This looks like the remains of the actual Blitzball Stadium now that I think about it. If it might benefit the future of Spira, I will gladly give my life. It is the highest honor for which a guardian might ask. Use my life, Lady Yoken, and rid Spira of sin. What? What was that? Our predecessors. <laughs> she said Lady Yoken, didn't she? Wait, she guarded High Summoner Yoken? This dome is filled with fireflies. It's like one gigantic sphere. People's thoughts remain here. Forever. Wow, it's pretty funky. So it's basically like the fire plane, like Orange said. Let's go! We got a few items to pick up here as well. Um, I think, anyway. I think there's some good ones. Ooh, what's this? What the hell is that? Defender Z. Or well, Z for our American viewers. Uh, triple foul. Take a bit of this. I don't think we'll be able to capture this guy though, and he seems to be pretty much resistant to that. Bang. Oh, and yep, we need to use armor break. Bang. Ooh, they do hit quite hard, don't they? Um, just attack it, Walker. That's better. They have a lot of HP. Blast Punch, well, we've seen this attack before. Holy crap, they are powerful. Um, oh, I don't know. I think I'll keep... Well, we'll try stealing from it, because we've not fought one of these before. Lunar Curtain's good. Farewell. Farewell. Cannot be captured. Well, we kind of knew that already. I'm just eating a ring donut with sugar on top. Lovely. Level 2 key spheres. Ooh. That's good. I mean, it's not. We've, we've probably got tons of those already, but you know what I mean. It's not bad. I see a chest up there, but how do we get up there? Now we just go back on ourselves. That's fine. What we're going to fight now? Ooh, some. Looks like zombified warrior monks, so we could probably use healing items on them. Let's try using an Albed Potion, just to just to see if this will actually hurt them. Yep, it does, but it heals the other one, so... Uh, let's try stealing from the Fallen Monk's Candle of Life! Uh, oh no, out of range. Candle of Life, what do they do? We can't capture these guys either. But uh, that's no surprise. Right, now we can get in on this guy. And we probably won't be able to capture this guy either. Boom. God, they, these guys really do hit hard. Holy water. We need some of those, definitely. Farewell. Farewell. So these fiends are really testing our final, uh, well, testing us before the final uh, Aeon, 
so they're not going to be easy. That's why they're hitting so hard. Let's just heal ourselves. Just like that. And go get this chest. Oh my word, the encounter rate in here is pretty bad as well. Ooh, lots of monks. Well, we can deal with you guys. In fact, let's just see if this will work. Let's try a phoenix down on that dude. See if this will kill him. Yep, it does. So, we're just going to use another one, I think. It's a nice, cheap way of killing him. Goodbye. And we'll just smack that dude. Gotta love nice zombified... Uh, oh, Riku learned Overdrive Victor. Gotta love zombified enemies. You really do. And uh, also, I forgot to tell you, I did do a bit of... Uh, I spent some of the sphere levels from the last video, but uh, no one learned anything important really. Just got some nice stat upgrades. 10,000 gil! Well, that was kind of worth the trip. Kind of. Oh god. Ooh, not seen one of those. Well, we have, but it's probably not the same model. In fact, let's. Um, Use a bit of the old Phoenix Downs again, because we got plenty. There we go, and again. Farewell. Farewell. These guys are no match, but uh, we expected that really, didn't we? I mean, if they do get a hit on us, like I say, they can do some nice damage, but otherwise, they don't stand a chance. And there's a lot of pathways I can see. Maybe we should just carry on. Oh my god! Another one of these, eh? Let's steal some more lunar curtains. Oh shit, armor break. Keep on forgetting to use armor break. Better. And I think Titus can do a bit of damage to this guy. Immune to delay. Oh dear. Ouch. Take that. And that. And this. Goodbye. Maybe I should unequip my capture weapons then if all of these guys can't be captured. Maybe I should. Uh, get rid of that. We want the Brotherhood. Uh, we got the Night Lance equipped. We want a Shimmering Blade or something like that, don't we? Strength plus 5%. That'll have to do. Quickly spend these levels as well. Um, going this way, aren't I? Yeah, why not? Why not? Strength plus one, wow. <laughs> uh, don't really want to go that way, do I? Or do I? That's meeting up with Lulu, but what if I go... Ah, I can just go up here. I think this will be better for Warren, give him a bit of uh, accuracy and stuff and speed. Uh, Kimari, get a bit more health. Riku, should I go... I don't know. I just think I'll just go down. I can always return there. Return spheres are so useful. Alright. I think we're done. Okay. Oh, I see a safe sphere as well. Just in time. Oh, for God's sake. You're testing my patience now, guys, but uh, my laziness is probably stopping me from editing this battle out. I can feel it already. No, it's out of range. I don't want to attack him. That's the dude. Do, 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 do. God, I love being this powerful. I really do. I was up quite late the other night grinding away. I even posted it on Facebook. I was up to like 3 o'clock in the morning grinding. Can you believe it? 
I certainly can. I've suffered this affliction for many years. Can I see another ghost ahead? I think I did. Now, now, guys, you really, really do not stand a chance. Because we'll just beat you senseless. Just like that. Very good AP here, though. So you could, I could grind here if I wanted to, but I think that's going a bit too extreme. No, mother, no! I don't want you to become a babe. There is no other way. Use me and defeat sin. Only then will the people accept you. I don't care about them. I need you, mother. No one else. I don't have much time left. Hey, wasn't that... Seymour? Oh! Holy crap! God, we're learning all sorts of stuff here. That was a pretty shocking scene, wasn't it? There's gotta be a chest here. No? Fair enough. What about the other way? Which I would have checked if I didn't get into a battle. Oh, you again! You just, you just want more punishment, don't you? Oh shit, armor break. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Bang. Right. You're going down, sir. And I like the fact that Titus has got sensor on his weapon, so we can actually see how much HP these guys have. A couple more hits and he's going down. Yeah. God, I love being this powerful. Okay, very well steel. That's quite good, actually. So I'll swap that for a... that one. Yeah, that's a fair swap. God, the encounter rate in here is just unbelievable. Hello. Friend Sphere. That was a good item. Right this way. Oh, hello. We actually got some level 3 key spheres from that Defender Zed dude, so that's good. And at one little thing, oh a chest down there, just heal myself a little bit. Um, I'm not actually using up my overdrives here, I could be doing, but because we've got uh, some fights coming up, which, uh, oh, oh my god we saw Brask eject an Auron! Let's just quickly run down here and get this chest, but oh my god that's so cool! Me want, makes me want them to make a fucking game about them even more. It, I, I think a lot of people would buy it. I really do. I certainly would. I mean, you kind of know what's going to happen at the end of it, but still, most prequels are like that. You usually know how they're going to end. So it won't be that bad. But they could make such a good game out of it. Plus being, you know, if it was on a newer console, Spear in like high def, that'd be nice. Mega Phoenix. Uh, what's this chest gonna be? Ah, another level 3 key sphere. Alright, let's go catch up to them. Uh. Hey, Braska. You don't have to do this. Thank you for your concern. Fine, I said my piece. Well, I haven't. Lord Braska, let us go back. I don't want to see you... die. You knew this was to happen, my friend. Yes, but I... I cannot accept it. <laughs> Lauren, I am honored that you care for me so. But I have come to kill grief itself. I will defeat sin and lift the veil of sorrow covering Spira. Please understand, Oren. Jeez, I wonder what it's like Orin seeing that stuff. Scary. I've started to run away from battles. Right. Where's this leading to? Oh. We're following him again, are we? God, this is so weird. I like this hallway, though. A look sphere. 
Ooh, uh, I have a feeling I've missed like an item or something. I probably have. Ah, well, you can. Always, I can always like come back here at some point. I think. Are the trials ahead? Probably. <laughs> I used to save sphere in the past. Too. Give me a break. I was expecting, you know, parades and fireworks. You can ask for them after I defeat Sin. Braska was very sort of, uh, no messing around. Very businesslike. Even though, you know, he's about to die, which he can sort of... I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm just going to shut up. <laughs> Right, maybe I should have saved the... Oh, God, is this the part? Of course, the Trials... This is the actual Cloister of Trials for Zanakin, you know. But don't worry, we can't actually get the secret... Um, whatchamacallit? What do I, how do I actually start this? Aha! There's no destruction sphere at the moment for this temple, so... Don't worry about it. Just gotta get it done. And this is one of the most can be frustrating thing just because I have a bad memory you have to memorize the things on the screen and step on the corresponding dots to create the pattern or whatever right so we've got to step on that one um, I think if you actually go up to the screen it tells you which ones to do right okay just check that again, because I have such a bad memory. Alright. Just make sure you don't step on the wrong dots. Because then you'll have to do it all over again. Doo -doo. Now, which one was it? Was it this one? I think we've done it. Yep. And that's the easiest one. We're going to have to do a few of these, you know. And I'm not looking forward to them, because like I say, my memory is abysmal. Alright, we got some pedestals. They come into play very shortly, but not just yet. Because we want to look into the next room that is now open to us. Alrighty. Kind of looks like a puzzle game, doesn't it? Right. Don't stand well, it doesn't really matter if we stand on any dots at the moment. Let's have a look. Can we not have a look? Okay, uh what about down here. Do we have to trigger something down here? Oh no, of course, of course. We actually do use the pedestals. Forgive me, forgive me. Right, what we do, I think, is push a pedestal into the recess, into the wall to the little cranny or nook or whatever and it reveals a pattern that we have to replicate in the big room and there are lots and lots of dots in this place as you just saw so I try not to run on any let's see which ones we need right the two red ones close then the green one right let's get those first that one yep this one and that one and what were the rest I really can't remember that many shapes you know right well, we'll do the left side first because that's pretty easy uh, I say that but I think it was that one this one and what else <laughs> I really cannot remember that well, you know. Right, just the one left. On the right. It's just a bit disorientating when it moves the camera away. I think it was this one. Yep. Okay, that's one done. And that lights up one of those symbols. We have to light up all of those. So, yep, this could take a while. Let's go back and push another pedestal in. I mean, it's, a, it's pretty. I mean, it seems really simple, but it can be pretty tricky. Let's do this one. All right. 
and I think each of these symbols sort of represents one of the temples. Right, oh that's a bit more tricky that one I think. A few more shapes to find. And uh, I remember the first time I did this, I didn't know you could actually go up to the screen and it would show you. I had to, I, I tried to do it like, just by looking at the screen and it's a lot harder. And I was not paying attention at all to what uh, shapes that were going on there, so let's look again. Right, okay, so the closest three there, and there's one in the top right corner. We'll get that. That one. That one. Of this one, and the top right I said, so it'd be this one. Right, now let's have a look again. Let's concentrate on the right hand side. Okay, that's the bottom of those two there. It's the bottom of this one, that one, and oh crap, I can't believe I've forgotten already. I've forgotten. Which one was it? Oh shit. I didn't mean to stand on that, but it looks like it was correct. Uh, I don't want to risk any more. I'm going to go back and look. I don't know how fun this is to actually watch, but you know. Right. I think the bottom two there. I'm just checking again. Alright. Bottom. Ah, right, okay. I was going to stand on the wrong one then. It's good I checked. It can be so frustrating if you stand on the wrong one. This one. Oh, damn! Damn! I pressed... Ah, oh, damn it! Damn it all! The wrong one! Okay, let's, let's do it a different way. Let's try just going around in a circle. Right. Okay. I want this one. I want this one. And maybe it'd be wise to walk. Aha, that's a bit better. Then... Oh god, which one was it? Was it this one? Yes, it was. Right, okay. Let's check again. This could be a long fucking trial, you know. Right, then it's that one. Okay. So I'll go around the left and I'll uh, just work my way around. But uh, just the way the camera is, it could be, you know, you can be running along and then, oh, accidentally step on the wrong one and you're like, ah, oh, shit. Right, there's that one, okay. So we just concentrate on the right hand side. Now it should be easier. I say that, but uh, you never know. Alright, the bottom of the two there, then the bottom two right ones and then the top right corner. Do the top right corner first. And it was this one. Then... not that one. Not that one, was it? I think it was this one. And this one. Please be right. Okay, it is, but we're still missing one more. Which one did I miss? Doo, 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 doo. Doo, doo. My memory's just terrible, you know. Ah, the one nearest to us. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, I forgot about that one. This one. That one, this one. This one, that one. Okay, that's two done. I think we're going to need a few more, though. So let's go back and do another pedestal. Hopefully the next one will be a bit easier than that one. Let's try this one. I think the two central pillars don't actually trigger a pattern that you need to do. But I think you have to do them last. Alright, that doesn't seem so bad. But we'll see, won't we? Don't stand on any dots. Right. Okay, nearest to us, the two red ones. B top right corner. Alrighty. Just do a bit at a time. There's no rush. There's no point taking risks. Because then you just lose time anyway, having to redo it all, so... 
Even if you have to do it just one at a time. As long as you get it done. Right, the bottom central one. This one. Okay. Right, check again. Because I wasn't looking at anywhere else there. Right, the bottom two and the one on the left. Right, okay, that should be simple enough. Oh, oh, almost ran on that one then. Ooh, dangerous, very dangerous. It was this one, wasn't it? Yep. Do do. I don't know if they're actually playing like a tune or something. I don't know. And this one should be right. Yep. Hooray. Okay, halfway there, but I think we only need to do one more pattern. I think. <coughs> so I think you only do four. Let's have a look. Yeah, try this one. Do, 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 do. I wonder what temple that is. Can't quite remember. Right. That looks simple enough. A couple of red ones, two blues, and a green. Oh, don't stand on that. Let's check. Right, okay. So we got the top right one again and the two red ones closest. Well, they're not really closest, but you know what I mean. I know what I'm doing. I think. Alright, go back and check. Right hand side, bottom of the two again, and that one. Right. God, it's such... I mean, it, it seems like such a simple task, but trying to remember... After it's zoomed away and you lose sort of where you're looking, it's uh, it's not easy. I think it was this one. Yep, good. Right. Almost done, guys. Almost done. Right, the bottom green one. Just two left. I'll go to the one on the far left, I think. This one. I think that was right. And the ice cream van is just coming up the avenue. Hey dear. We've actually got some uh, fab ice lollies in. And I've been addicted to them. Oh shit, which one was it now? Left or right? Bollocks, right? Don't, don't want to risk it. Go check again. That's what happens when you get distracted by ice cream man, ice cream men, ice cream van, whatever. Ah, it was the one on the right. Okay, I thought it was gonna, th it was the one on the right, but I wasn't 100% sure. So there's no point risking it, risking it for a biscuit. Let's walk around. There we go. That will light up the top symbol, is it? Oh no, the top right one, fair enough. Alright then, let's go back. Two more pedestals, but I do think that... Uh... Oh crap. I think we actually take these spheres, you know. A besaid sphere is inserted here. Now oh, we can't take it yet. Ah. I wonder... How many... Done all these, can we not sort of you see a sphere shaped to recess? Well why wouldn't it let us take the damn spheres then? Ah, uh, maybe we need to do Kilika first then. I think the one on the left is a Kilika sphere. That's fair enough. Yep, take it. And it goes all dark. Very eerie, very spooky. I don't like the dark. Right, uh, this one. Insert. And in it goes, and the sphere just disappears. I don't know why Besaid and Kilika are so special that they don't get to have a pattern, but... Whatever. Alright, let's go get the next one. Do, 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 do. Take it. Music fades away, you'll notice. Which is even more spooky. All 
Alright, that's all of them lit. glowing all like that and we actually get a save sphere so that tells you something really doesn't it that uh, we do have a boss fight coming up so I'm just gonna save it quickly I'm not gonna end the video yet uh, mountain trail yep save over that one alrighty let's go look at the screen going all funky right boss fight time This one is quite a unique fight as well, just because of the uh, arena that we're going to fight on. Let's see what this dude looks like. Oh, oh. I remember having troubles against this guy when I first played. Wow, look at this guy. Okay, now. You'll see there are these six glowing uh, sort of symbols that we can stand on. You can actually move by using a trigger command. And basically, you'll see that he's facing us at the moment. If we attack him, I think he'll counter by sweeping across and he'll probably hit everyone that he's facing. So it'd be wise to move behind him first. At least have two characters behind him and one in front. Because uh, if there's like everyone behind him, he'll just turn around, I think. So let's move Auron behind him there. Okay, now we can sort of attack him. But let's try uh, Armor Break, just, just to be safe. He's got 52,000 HP. It shouldn't take us long to kill this guy. He's immune to it, so we can do maximum damage anyway. Here he goes with his counter, which is pretty nasty. Uh, haste ourselves now. I just want to make sure everyone gets a piece of the action here. Berserk Tail. Oh, this is going to Berserk Titus. Uh-oh. I'm going to lose control of him now. And it zooms in on him dramatically. Right, Boran. You can just attack, I suppose. And he's facing Tidus now, so... I don't think Orin and Kimari are going to get hit if he counters. No, just Tidus. That's fair enough, right. Uh, Kimari can swap out for... Uh, Riku, so she can do the usual stealing. And Ether. That's uh, not bad. Yuna, we could summon an Aeon actually. I think I really want to summon your Jimbo because I'm not showing him yet, but I don't know. I want to try and make sure I get an overkill on this guy. My Aeons aren't that powerful. Let's cast Regen just on Titus. Cause actually, no, let's uh, Asuna. Let's see if we can cure him of his Berserk. That'd be even better. And it doesn't seem to have worked, has it not? Although it has, of course, I can control it now. So let's get uh, Lulu in. Um, just cast, I suppose. Fire Aga, see how much damage this can do. A decent amount. It's probably got pretty high defense magic wise, so. Ooh, Lulu's almost dead. Berserk Tail. Uh-oh. Berserk Riku. Well, that's not good. Because Riku doesn't really usually physically attack. For a good reason, because she's weak as hell. Oh, she's dead. Right. Uh, crap, 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 crap. We need to revive her. Have we got full life? We do. Go. 
Glyph Mine, oh crap. Yuna and Riku are standing on Glyph Mines. They really need to move. Uh, but I'm going to get Wocket in because he's not fought yet. Let's see if we can do a triple foul on the guy. Oh, we silenced it. That's good. Uh oh. Counters yet, Riku. I'm going to move you. In fact, no, we're going to get Auron in a second. And then we're going to move to uh, that one. Yuna really needs to get out. So we'll get Kimari back in. And he can move to the one behind it. There we go. Right, is he going to Berserk Auron? That's fine, because Auron will do nice damage now. I don't know why it zooms in like this, but there we go. Bang! On that. Yeah, you can counter me, I don't care, we can handle it. And the glyph mines explode. Luckily, any uh, no characters were on there. <coughs> right, uh, let's try uh, an overdrive. Let's, um... In fact, we'll might as well just do Mighty Guard for now. Just for the sake of it, I think. And I'm going to bring in Titus just to do an overdrive. Let's do slice and dice, see if this will work. Ooh, first time. I don't think we're going to kill it. That's good damage. Yep, counter or in all you want. Bang, overkilled it. Good stuff. What was he called? Was he called the Spectral Keeper or something like that? I didn't uh, pay attention to his name. But uh, he did put up a pretty decent fight, that guy. He can do some nice damage to us, but... We owned him. I just, I've always liked that battle, just because of the uh, the platforms and stuff like that. Adds a layer of strategy. In a way. And... What happens now? Yuna, we're here. The Hall of the Final Summoning. Go. Yes. I wouldn't let her go down there by herself. Surely we'd want to go with her. Oh, that's sexy AP. And some level 4 key spheres. And a thunder blade that we really don't need. What? Sir Oren! Everyone! Oh, looks like she needs us. What's going on? What do you mean, no final Aeon? Hmm, what is going on? Well, we've got a save sphere, so I'm going to take advantage of it, and I'm going to save, so... Thanks for watching, people. In the next video, we're going to go see what the hell she meant, or what the hell Jekt meant by that. We're going to go see what lies beyond the Hall of the Final Summoning. Thanks for watching, like I've said, and I'll see you next time.